Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something really exciting for us to play with, the new Too Faced Clover palette. So when this palette first launched, it was sold out. Like it sold out instantly. I even tried to get it and it was gone. But I recently received it in a PR package. It was the cutest package ever and I had to play with it. These colors are just gorgeous. I mean, they're very bright, they're very colorful. You do have some nudes in here, but there's a little story behind this palette that I want to kind of share with you guys. The colors in this palette represent the mascot of Too Faced's personality. So, the mascot of Too Faced is Clover, Clover the Explorer on Instagram. He is Gerard's pet chihuahua. So you've probably seen him if you're a Too Faced fan. He is the cutest chihuahua ever. I really, really love chihuahuas. I used to have one, actually. He passed away a few years ago, but he was like a chocolate brown chihuahua. So every time I see chihuahuas, I think of Rusty. Rusty was one of those really feisty chihuahuas. And he didn't like everybody, but he even would corner me sometimes, like in a room. He was my mom's dog. So you could see on this palette, Clover is right here. He's this cute little chihuahua. And there's like so much going on here, so much cuteness. You have like rainbows, pandas, chihuahuas, cats. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. You can even see the sweet peach little symbol right here. And in this palette, there are 18 brand new shades. At the beginning of April, Too Faced did tease this palette. Like I did see images of it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. And the cool thing about this palette is when you're looking at it, you could totally section off certain sides of it to get you know, that color story that you want. What I did today was I actually looked at it diagonally and I was like, these colors here, I think I'm gonna play with those because those look like they would be awesome together and just really unique. So that's a way to not be intimidated by this palette if you do end up getting it. It is $49 and it is limited edition. So if you do want it, I would totally suggest getting it now. Like you need to get it now. And it's exclusively on Too Faced's website. So I will link it down below for you guys. Something really special about this palette is that when it launched, Too Faced committed to donating $250,000 to the Best Friends Animal Society. And when I did receive my PR package, it said that inside of it. So that felt really special to me. My dogs are like my family. They are so much like my family that I think of them as like people. Like that's what I think of them as. And you guys know I have three doxies. I feel like that's so cute, like to center a palette around your dog. Like that's just goals. And these chocolatey caramel colors up here, these nude hues, those colors are inspired by Clover's coat. He has like a nude kind of caramel color going on on his coat. So it came in this hydrant. I actually kept it and I'm just using it in my room as like a display because it's too cute to give away. It came in this, like the palette was up there and then there was a squeaky toy down here, a little squeaky Clover toy and then a little pin and I just love it. And you can see there's a little patch up here, like an iron-on patch of clover that I could put like on a jean jacket or something. But another fun fact about me and about Too Faced, Too Faced was the first company to ever send me anything, to send me any products, to send me a PR package. They were the first company that noticed me and actually sent me their makeup to use on my channel. So every time I receive something from them, it is pretty emotional for me. I feel like, Wow, they were the first company to see my videos and to see me. And that makes me feel really, really special to receive products from them. If you're someone that loves Too Faced and you love the chocolate bar palettes, this one is really, really nice to add to your collection because it is the more colorful one out of the bunch. Like this one is definitely probably the most colorful Too Faced palette that I've seen or tried. Too Faced is a cruelty-free company. They're really big animal lovers. And I think that's awesome. This is a really nice palette that I feel represents their company and brand very well. All right, so if you guys are ready, I think it's time that you meet my puppies. Some of you guys have seen them before, but I wanna bring them out because this video is all about Clover and I wanna show my pups too. I wanna share my pups with you guys. So let's meet them. All right, guys, these are my pups. The brown here, the little brown guy. This is Luca and he's a baby. He's only one, and Chacha's four, and she's my little Dapple Doxy. They don't usually come up here that much, so they're kind of checking it out, but yeah, they're such cuties. I love Doxies so, so much. I, I could literally have like 50 of them. I think they're so cute, and these two are best friends. They're always together. They cannot be without each other, and if one of them isn't around, if one of them goes to the vets for just like a little bit, then he's looking for her and 
they just are best friends. They're always together. They sleep together, play together. They spend a lot, a lot of time together, so. So here's a better look at Cha-Cha. She is a dapple, so you can see her color is, it's pretty unique. A lot of people think that she is a lot older than her age, but she's actually only four. She just has a lot of gray and like black. She used to have so much more spots when she was a puppy. Like when she was a puppy, she was covered in this pattern all over. She's mostly black now. Like she's really, really black. She's being really shy right now, but yeah. She's like being super shy. Will you look? No? See her collar? She's really girly. That's one thing about her is she's extremely girly. All right, guys, you met my pups. I hope you guys love meeting them. And I love seeing all the photos of your pups, so stay tuned throughout this video to see them. And be sure that you subscribe to my channel right now for more looks. And without further ado, let's get on to the video using the Too Faced Clover Palette. Skincare, take one. Always wanted one of these things. So to start this look out, guys, I'm gonna be using the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic To Go. And I like to use these before a look or even at nighttime after I do you know, my cleanser and stuff. I like to use these to just wipe away anything that is left over on my face. This does a really good job at removing dirt or oil that is just kind of sitting on top of the skin and it makes your skin feel really fresh. So these are really nice to use before makeup does feel like it exfoliates the skin because my skin feels really soft after I use these. So after I've done that, I like to go in and hydrate my skin. So I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Water Cream, of course. And this one's a cute little travel size one that came in a gift set that they sent me. I'm obsessed with the water cream. It's like the best moisturizer ever. It's very lightweight on the skin. It feels like water. It's very hydrating. So now I'm going to be using my favorite primer right now. This is by Dermalogica, and this is the Hydra Blur Primer. I have been liking this one because I feel like it really prolongs my makeup, but it also blurs out a lot of the pores on my face. So I've been really liking to use this every single day. And you can see a little goes a long way. I put the smallest amount on my finger, and it covers my whole face. So you really don't need a lot of it. Also gives kind of like a nice matte finish too to the skin. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using my favorite as of late and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. And I'm gonna be using this silicone sponge from e.l.f. They sent me a sponge set and I used the Beauty Blender type sponge in there and I did really like it. And this one I actually think is really cool because it has a little strap for your fingers and it also blends foundation really nicely. And what I like about the sponge is that it literally doesn't suck up any of your foundation. It, like, look how much is on my face. Normally with a beauty blender, I would definitely not have that much on my face because it soaks so much of it up. And what I find works best with this is just kind of doing this number here and then sliding it and then tapping in again. It works really well when using a silicone sponge. Normally I'd have to use like two to almost three pumps of this foundation to get the coverage that I want because the Beauty Blender soaks so much of it up. But with this one, I only have to use one. Saves so much foundation. So I'm gonna be using for concealer the Maybelline Age Rewind. And this is in the shade Fair. I really have been liking this a lot lately and it's taken the place of my Shape Tape Concealer. I feel like they have really similar consistency and coverage. And I love this one because it is very brightening under the eyes. So I recently found this Stila product at Marshalls and it was only $10. So I really wanted to pick it up and try it. I did swatch this color to make sure it was perfect. And this one is really nice for concealing little spots on the face and it has really good coverage to it. That's what I really liked about it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bronzy shade here, and I'm gonna use this to contour my face. And I'm using this on my Delium Tool Studio 8 brush, and this is the Face Sculpting 977 brush. Ooh, and that is pretty dark, so I'm just gonna space this out a little bit. And when I'm contouring, I like to really pull that cream shade up onto the cheek because it lifts the face. So I like to keep it really high up. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and grab the lighter shade in here using the silicone blender. And I'm just going to use this to blend underneath the contour. And you can kind of use this and go over it a little bit to soften it. I actually really, really, really like this. This is like nice and light. It's not too thick of a contour. I think it's really pretty. So now I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this isn't fair. I've been liking this one because this is one of the only face powders that doesn't darken my foundation. A lot of loose powders, they just make my face like two shades darker, and this one actually keeps it nice and bright. And to set, I am using this on a Delium Tool Studio 8 brush. 941 tapered highlighting. I really like this brush because it is so, so fluffy, so it doesn't like cake on the powder. So for brows, I'm gonna be trying something new today. This is from Japanesque, and this is the Kumadori Dual Ended Brow Pencil. This one reminds me a lot of a brow pencil I use every day, which is the Benefit Goof Proof. I always, always have to comb out my brows before I fill them in, and I just like to flick the hairs up. And this pencil is nice and waxy, so it kind of feels like it's controlling those brow hairs, keeping them in place. And the color is not bad at all, it matches really nicely. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows using my Ready Set Brow Gel. I think the brush on it is what I love the most. It just is so good. All right, guys, so I did one of my eyes and I'm gonna do this one with you. And I think this palette is just so pretty, this color combination. I've never done this before, but I love it. And I think my favorite shade in this palette is the green called Lucky Clover. Oh, I just love it, it's so pretty. So I'm first gonna grab the shades Fur Baby and Chihuahua. I'm gonna mix them together for our transition color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and circle this into my crease. And these are really blendable. That's what I noticed about them is they're really easy to blend into each other and to mix. I'm also gonna grab a little bit more of Chihuahua and Fur Baby. And I'm just gonna use these on the lower lash line, just blending together like that. I always like to drag it really far under my eye. So now I'm gonna grab the shade Cuddle Buddy which is a more like a reddish brown. And I'm just gonna use this in the upper crease. So now I'm gonna be cutting the crease using my Makeup Forever Aqua XL. And you can actually just use a concealer for this, but I do really like this product because the color is perfect. But concealer or foundation works just as good. You can always kind of substitute your own products in for any of the looks I do. If you don't have that certain product, then you can pull from your own collection. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this on a flat brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting the crease with this. And I'm just going all the way through the lid and bringing it right up above my crease so that you could really see that definition there. So I'm just gonna take this green pop it right here in the inner part of the eye. And this is a really nice green. It's like, it's not too green, but you can definitely see it. It's a lighter green, which I think is really unique. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shades Daddy Loves Me and Love is Love, and I'm just gonna mix them together and apply this right into the center of the outer corner and then next to that green. And I was kind of using, in this palette, just this row right here, going straight across and down. I just wanted to really use these colors because I thought they were very unique. And then grabbing a combination of the shades Cuddle Buddy and Daddy Loves Me, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this into the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna mix the shades Cuddle Buddy for baby, and then more of the shade Daddy Loves Me, and I'm just gonna blend this on the lower lash line, bringing it under the eye pretty far. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the shade called Rut Row, and this is like a more deeper, like 
metallic burgundy shade and I'm just gonna concentrate this on the outer corner of the eye. And then just gradually bringing it down under the eye. To really highlight the eye, there's a really pretty white icy shade in here called Puppy Eyes. I'm gonna use Puppy Eyes in the brow bone and this really lifts the look up and I'm also gonna use it in the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna add the shade Woof, which is the black in this palette. I'm literally just gonna slightly touch into it and this is a really pigmented black. I'm just going to circle this into the outer corner. I'm gonna take some more of that shade Woof and line out the lower lash line. This is gonna make our eyes look really big. And also I've been liking to take just a black eyeshadow to darken up the lash line instead of using like eyeliner. I'm just gonna use this and press it in to make it look as though there is a little bit of eyeliner there. And this will help conceal our lash band. We're gonna apply some false lashes in a little bit and this really helps blend everything together. And now I'm gonna grab the shade Love is Love, which is this really pretty pink color, just to soften up this transition. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Well, I went in with this nude eyeliner from Tarte. I'm just gonna fill in that waterline with this. And this kind of fakes that waterline and makes the whites of your eyes look bigger than what they are. So I'm gonna be using the Better Than Sex mascara. I love, love this mascara. This one's my favorite, and I also love the Lancome Monsoor Big. Those are my top two favorite mascaras. Whatever look I wear these lashes with always looks so, so good. Even if it's not a super glam look, I feel like these lashes make any look look so nice. So to contour my face, I'm gonna be using the Kevin Aquan, the Contour Book Volume 2, The Art of Sculpting. And this shade in here is like the perfect contouring shade that you could ever use. It's like the perfect ashy kind of bronzer color. I just like to keep it right into the hollow of my cheek. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my JD Wadey 180 nose contouring brush with Luxie. I'm just gonna thin out my nose. And to highlight my nose, I'm gonna use the candlelight powder that's in here. And I'm just gonna use it on the flat end of the brush. I'm gonna be using the Making Faces Beauty Book. And this is the coolest thing ever. It actually has magnetic palettes inside of it. And there's like chapter one, chapter two. I'm gonna be using chapter two, the blush and define. I'm gonna grab this shade called Shador and I'm gonna use this for my blush. My blush always looks really intense after I do it. So a trick for you guys is you can just take your beauty blender or sponge, whatever you're using, your foundation brush and blend over it. I really want my highlight to be super intense today. And the only way to do that is to set your face first so I'm gonna use the Pure Miracle Mist, and I'm just gonna mist my face. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Blossoms Highlight from Lime Crime. And this one looks like it would be way too gold for me, but we're just gonna go for it and see what it looks like. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of Blossom, these two together. Right when your face is feeling like it's almost dry, that's when you wanna go in with the highlight. Look at that right there, you see that? I think out of all of the Lime Crime highlight palettes they have, I think Blossom is my absolute favorite, it is so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit more of it and highlight my forehead. And lastly, all we have is lips to do. So I'm gonna be using something I found at Marshalls. And this is the Bite, the perfect pair of Mouge Bouge lipstick. I have the Joy set, I actually did swatches with some of the holiday sets from Bite, and they look just like this. Like they're literally identical. So if they're anything like those, I'm gonna love, love these colors and the feeling of them. I love the way Bite lipsticks smell. They smell amazing. Oh, and by the way, guys, this set is $7 at Marshall's. I 
I feel like I wanna add some more of that shade. Love is love. I'm gonna use this one a little bit more in this look. I'm just gonna concentrate it right in the center of the eye. At this point in your look, you can start adding in your finishing touches. And I just wanna add a little bit more pink in here. All right, beauties, this is the final look using the new limited edition Clover palette from Too Faced. Let me know what you guys think about it down below, but my overall thoughts are, it was really soft. I like the colors. I'm a really colorful person. I just love colorful eyeshadow. So this to me, I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, this is totally something that I would reach for, that I would love to use, like kind of like on a daily basis, honestly. And the colors in here were just really unique to me. I haven't seen a lot of palettes that really vary in color. I always see neutral palettes, so it was really fun to play with this today and do like a berry pink and green look. I really liked how blendable all the shades were. I felt like they blended into each other really nicely. And you can see here, these colors are so opposite from each other, but they blended really, really easily without literally any effort. They were really buttery and soft. So if you are as big of a fan of Too Faced as I am, I could recommend this palette to you. If you love the Chocolate Bar palette or the Sweet Peach, this is nice to kind of add to your collection because this is the more colorful one out of like all of them. So yeah, you guys know my thoughts on it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you thought of this look. What do you guys think of it? I'm obsessed. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, guys. Hit that subscribe button right now and like this video if you did enjoy it. Also hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload. You don't want to miss any looks that are coming up. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. I hope it's amazing. And thank you so much for watching my video today and tuning in. I will see you all in my next tutorial. Oh, and if you want to see pictures of your pups, here they are. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make colds collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you Dripping lights
Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sound. 